guys, it's Nikki and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching today's haul of I have items from Shop Disney, I have a couple of small shop items, and then items from Box Lunch as well. I've kind of been hoarding all of these items from the purchases that I've made over the past couple of months so I can put this video together for you. I am very excited to show you some food and wine merchandise that I grabbed from Shop Disney, some fun Halloween items for our upcoming trip to Disney World in September for the Halloween party for the first time ever so pumped about that and then i have some random items that i grabbed from box lunch because they had a sale over fourth of july so again i have been hoarding these items for a bit so i am excited to share them with you please give this video a big thumbs up make sure you are subscribed to the channel we are heading to disneyland very very soon so those vlogs will be coming as well as another pack with me video so make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out on the fun all right, let's get started. First, we're gonna start with Shop Disney. So if you are not aware, the Food and Wine Festival is currently going on um, July, I think it was the 14th maybe, somewhere around there through November. So this festival is the longest. In my opinion, it is the best. We absolutely love going to the Food and Wine Festival. There are so many different options that you can get uh, if you like wine, if you don't like wine, if you like food, desserts, so many different options. At the new festival, they do release some merchandise on Shop Disney, which as a person who is not a local to the parks, greatly appreciates because the items are geared more towards your kitchen and they're really fun. However, they are large. Excuse me, we're trying to do our video. We can go baby. Okay, go lay down. They are a bit more large and so which would also be a lot harder to bring back home. So all the items that were online were geared more towards the kitchen. There were not any pass holder items online that I saw or uh, t-shirts or different like apparel items. But the items that I did grab, I was really excited about. I might end up picking up a couple more pins once we get to the park because all of those were not online. But again, very happy that they posted at least a little bit of the merchandise on Shop Disney. And even better, I'm able to use a discount um, on Shop Disney and I think they had a sale as well so I got everything at a discounted rate which I am always here for so the first item I'm going to show you from the International Food and Wine Festival is the limited release pin that they have it just says let's see how the day pans out and then it has a pan and a different food items on it So they do have other ones in the parks that I'm excited to see as well as pass holder ones. But if anything, I have this one. I'm sure they will be there when we go back, but I just wanted to make sure I had at least one because sometimes the pins do run out or sell out. But since it is a longer festival, I'm hoping that they keep the items in stock items are also pins and this is actually really fun because they have a mystery pin set for this year's festival which personally I have never seen before in their own mystery pin set like for an individual festival they obviously have tons of mystery pin sets but I've never seen one for a festival so I was really excited to see these and they are so cute they're just Mickey and Minnie and they're cooking different things so maybe it's pizza Mickey's grilling um, and that is one of the themes this year for the merchandise so they have Remy figments they have the Mickey and Minnie and then they also have Tiana this year which I am very excited about so I purchased two of these mystery pin set boxes and we are actually going to unbox them right now to see which ones we get. The mystery pin boxes, you do get two pins and they are pretty decent size. I would definitely say they are a good size. So that's always nice because I don't like, I obviously, I actually love like larger pins. I'm not a huge fan of the smaller pins. So the bigger the pin, the better in my preference in my opinion in my opinion there we go alrighty so the first pin that we received is 
Oh, that's cute. So it has a Mickey and it looks like he is about to do some grilling. He has a drink and then some sauces ready to go. So this is our first pin that we got and this is like the vibe that all of the pins have. All right, let's open our second bag. And I don't really have a preference on which ones I get. Um, I did, I do like all the mini ones and these are the pins that I might purchase more of in the parks if they still have them just to see if we can try and complete the set. And there are, there are 10 mystery pins so you'd have to buy at least 5 boxes to try and get all of them. That's like kind of a lot. So our second pin is, oh awesome, this is the one that I really, really liked. So here's Minnie with her pizza. Again, they all have like that, almost like a guitar pick background with the triangles and just fun little designs. All right, now we're going to jump in to our second box. It's always, people always like think it's kind of risky buying mystery pin sets online because it's more likely to get <laughs> duplicates. But we will see. I'm just going to open both of these, but not look at them. Let's take a look at this one. Awesome. So it's not a duplicate, and a mini is just enjoying her lemonade with her little headband on. On, like, an Aerondack chair. I think so that I one is really cute. So that was a great pull. We got four different pins from two boxes. I was wondering if they're gonna try and do like two minis in a box or two make or like a Mickey and a mini, not two minis and two Mickeys, but it looks like it is just random. So that is awesome. I definitely will be picking up more of those when we go to the parks very soon. Another food and wine item that I got were the kitchen towels. Again, it was the Mickey and a mini design. So this is the one like bigger towel with the embroidered print on the front. And then the second towel has all of those same designs from the print. From the second towel has all of the same designs from the pins on this one as well as the Mickey and Minnie in front of Epcot's ball. I love kitchen towels. I love having them in our house. It's just like an easy way to add some fun little magic sprinkled throughout. So one of the larger items that I got from Shop Disney was the pizza cutting board. So I am so pumped about this. I have cutting boards behind our sink and I can't wait to add this one. It is so adorable and again it has Minnie with her pizza and then it says I've got pizzas and I absolutely love this. It is a lot larger than I thought it was going to be so I'm glad I don't have to carry it home with me on the airplane but I am in love with this. It's going to look so cute sitting behind our sink in our kitchen. With that, make sure you are following me over on Instagram so you can see what this looks like. I post just like day-to-day -day life stuff over there. I will leave my handle down in the description below. So the big food and wine item that I really wanted to purchase, but there would be absolutely no way that I could carry this on, was the rolling pin. So this is actually the Tiana inspired rolling pin. And I love how they incorporated Tiana this year with the food and wine items. And y'all, this is a thick rolling pin like holy smokes this baby is a big when the box came I was like wow that box is really big I didn't order that much stuff and it was 100% because of this rolling pin they had it inside like two different boxes it was very uh, like secure in the shipping but wow I did not realize it would be this big or like this thick but we're gonna be able to make some homemade beignets with this not really but may maybe we'll try that Maybe that can be like a fun home vlog. Me trying to cook beignets. <laughs> the last food and wine, the last food and wine item I got was this fun little spatula. I love getting these at the all at all of the different 
The last food and wine item I got was this fun little spatula. I get the different spatulas at the different festivals and then I have a jar that I set them in in our kitchen. It's really fun. I don't really actually use them to cook. I'm sure I could, but I love seeing them in our kitchen and it just has Tiana and I believe it says beignets on there. Egg, sugar, flour, nutmeg. And it is really cute. So those are the food and wine items that I got. A couple other just like random shop Disney finds were these uh, assorted plates. So they're sets of four. I'm not going to unravel them right now. I actually already have a set of four. But my parents bought us the big dinner plates. We have eight of those. So I wanted to buy four more. So now these can be our fun like summer spring plates. Um, I love these. They're the perfect size for like a side salad or to eat lunch on. And they're really, really good quality. So if you're ever unsure um, about purchasing like this type of dining wear on Shop Disney, go ahead and do it. Wait for a sale. That's when I always grab them. And they are great quality. Since I, went on, I always loved the movies, but in Baby Groot has always had my heart since seeing the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 but after I rode the ride I'm like yep I am a huge Guardians of the Galaxy fan now that ride is absolutely amazing and I have another item that I got too that's Guardians of the Galaxy inspired but I've always wanted Baby Groot I love the big feet um, plushes that they do with the characters and he's just so cute I could do not love him He's so cute. So two clothing items that I grabbed that were on like a major sale uh, was this first sweatshirt. It just says Tomorrow Land Dreamer. And it has the different um, rockets. So it has a alien and then a spaceship. Looks like a drink. Uh, just like random stuff. Yeah, all around it to make it look like spacey. I saw this in the parks, but I wasn't 100% sure if I wanted to get it. And then I saw it on Shop Disney, and I didn't want to have any FOMO. So I bought it. Purple is my favorite color. So anything purple, I'm most likely going to buy. Another really fun, I, I always say that. Another clothing item that I grabbed from Shop Disney is kind of unique. It is a windbreaker, so it's black and it has a hood. It also has Mickey's angry face. It has Mickey's angry face up in the corner there. And it has a zipper all the way down with like a little vent system right here. And then on the back it has Mickey as well and it's kind of like iridescent uh it is cropped however it has like the ties at the bottom i do have a tomorrowland rain jacket that i take with us to the parks but i just thought this would be another really fun option i haven't tried it on yet but i know a little fit but it's like super cute and it's very subtle so this would be something that i can easily like throw on at home too Granted, I wear all of my Disney stuff like in the wild of my life, so it doesn't have to be subtle. I don't care. <laughs> the last item that I got on Shop Disney is so stinking cool, and I'm planning on bringing this to our Disneyland trip because if you don't know, um, in Disney's California Adventure Park, their Tower of Terror is actually a Gardens of the Galaxy ride. I've been on it one time, but now I'm like even more so like pumped about it. If you have never seen Gardens of the Galaxy, you might not have any idea like what this means, but in the movie, they're big into like cassette tapes and music. And so this is a like little crossbody bag and it is a cassette tape. And it says Wonder of Xandar Cosmic Rewind Mix. And then or it says Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind Mix. Up top there. It is so stinking cute. It is so stinking cute, y'all. I am obsessed with this so, so much. It is really big inside. It has like a little net there. My, I have the iPhone 13 Pro. It fits perfectly. I could throw my wallet in there nice and easy 
to go to the parks in, but I love this so much and I can definitely see myself taking this to Epcot too. So the next items are from a small shop. They are called The Family Shop, and I'll leave their information link down below. I found them on Instagram, I'm pretty sure. And as I mentioned, we are heading to the parks for Halloween. Technically, it's in September, but Halloween starts in August. Um, when it comes to Walt Disney World. And so I wanted to get us some fun Halloween shirts for the parks. And I saw this design and I couldn't not not get it for our Epcot day. So it says here for the booze. And it has Mickey in a ghost outfit holding a beer mug. Granted, I don't like beer, but I think this is so stinking cute. And I got mine in purple, obviously. And then I got one for Jackson in gray. So the site allows you to customize what colors you want. And obviously you get to pick your size too. So I thought that was really fun. It's the same shirt, but it's in different colors that like we both feel comfortable in. The other item that I grabbed from the family shop, oh my gosh. This was the first item that I actually saw that got me intrigued with the shop. And then I saw those other two ones. I'm like, yes, we need those. So this is actually a sweatshirt and it says Halloween on it with Mickey as a ghost holding his Mickey pumpkin bucket for his candy. So this is like super cute from the sweatshirt, right? Look at that, it actually has the back of Mickey on the sweatshirt, that's what sold me. When I realized that it was the back and like Mickey's booty, oh my gosh, so funny, cutest thing, and I knew I needed it for the season. I know I probably won't actually need a sweatshirt in September in Florida, but I will be able to wear that at home all the time. Keeping with the Halloween theme, I got a couple items from Box Lunch. So if you haven't ever shopped at Box Lunch, we actually don't have a Box Lunch in my hometown, but I do shop them online. They are like Hot Topic, different things like that, tons and tons of different fandoms. So I will leave a link up for these items if they're still available down in the description below. But I had to obviously get a fun Halloween backpack for our trip. And I went with this Mickey backpack. He is obviously a mummy. And this is not a lounge fly bag. So this is a Her Universe bag. And it is a lot larger, which I love. So I will just take this backpack with us when we go in September. And I'm really happy that it is a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Let's take a peek on the inside so we can go ahead and zipper. And the zipper is really nice. The backpack is a great quality. So it is a very large inside. And then on the back, there's actually a zipper, which I am a huge fan of. So there's a zipper back there. And then there's just like little ghosts with Mickey on the inside print. I was not aware that her universe did backpacks so I'm hoping this is like a new thing and so I'm hoping this is like a new thing that they just continue to do because this quality is a really great and then on the front they do have a very large zipper that has the same print and then again, my phone can fit nice and easy in that front pocket if I didn't want to carry it. These little mummy things do pop up, which is really cute. The only thing I would say I would have wanted something different about this is to have a side pocket for like a small water bottle or I can just like throw my camera in on the side really quick or my phone. So I'm always pro side pockets but I am obsessed with this. Like, look how freaking cute that backpack is. Adorable, adorable, freaking adorable. 
Another really random item that I found on Box Lunch was this fun Mickey sweatshirt. So my husband actually has a Donald sweatshirt that is, or shirt. My husband actually has a Donald shirt that is like this same vibe, but I loved the sweatshirt. I'm always down for a fun sweatshirt. This is giving me like vintage vibes and I'm into that right now for some reason. And so I really liked the look of this one. And then in them and then I would like to preface to say that before I purchased these items, I went to see Lightyear. And so I was in like Buzz Lightyear mode. Like, yeah, I love Buzz Lightyear. And so I purchased this fun sweatshirt. It is, it says to infinity and beyond. And it has like the Buzz Lightyear buttons on the front with the words in the different color. And then on the back and the sleeves, it has the blue red purple and green and it is a little bit cropped and it has a hood this is i really think it's pretty cute you can even like i could bound as buzz lightyear in toy story land for one of our days in the parks at hollywood studios it is so sinking cute i keep saying that i know everything is just adorable but i really like that sweatshirt and it's really well made all of the patches up top in the words are embroidered which i'm more a fan of like the embroidered look than just like the print on look The big item that I got from Box Lunch was a fun Funko Pop. This is Carl and Eddie with Ellie. The really big item that I got from Box Lunch was a fun Funko Pop. So this is Carl and Ellie with their balloon cart. I'm actually gonna go ahead and take it out of the box so I can show you what it looks like up close. I I love up so much and this is <laughs> this is so stinking cute I do not keep my Funkos in the box I throw the box away I the things I collect I want to use and see and so I'm not just gonna like keep them in their box but to each their own I am obsessed with this literally obsessed I love all of my items but this might be one of my favorites it is so cute with their little balloon cards and she is the zookeeper and he was the balloon guy at the zoo how adorable i decided that i need to reorganize my office so i can like redo some of my shelves and that probably will end up on my desk because that is so cute i want to look at it every day So the last items I have are some blind bag items. So this one was a Baby Groot bag chip um, blind bag. So these are the different options that we can get. So these are like the different options that you can get in this blind bag. I purchased this one uh, from Box Lunch. So let's go ahead and open it. Hopefully I won't have to get up and get scissors. Mm. Un momento. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Ow. Oh, that one's cute. Oh my gosh, I love that. And I think I'm going to put this one on my little guardians of the galaxy cosmic rewind bag so this was the casey stop this was the baby groot so he has like a little flower so adorable again again big fan of baby groot so the two other blind bags that i have i actually got these ones at target um, they have some princess ones. Sorry, Casey's like attacking my trash over here in this corner. 
Um, they do have princess ones that I've been trying to get Pocahontas, but they didn't have them when I went there today. And so I got some Monsters Inc. ones. And these are the monsters from Monsters Inc. that you can get. Let's see which ones we're going to get today. <gasps> oh, Roz! <laughs> So here is a Roz, and they're just like little bag charms. They are super cute to just throw on your fanny pack or backpack. That is funny. I do not have her, and I'm a fan. And they just have one more of the Monsters Inc. one. I think this one might be Mike Wazowski, just from like feeling it, but might be wrong oh no it's totally him yes it's Mike Wazowski I was feeling it at Target and I'm like I think this is Mike so I had to grab him he has his little mic his little microphone Mike's got his microphone happy as ever ready to get those laughs If you've never, if you have never been to Monsters Inc. Laugh Floor in Magic Kingdom, definitely check it out. It is interactive. Every single show is different, and it is such a great time. Oh my gosh, I love it. Comment down below if you've been to Monsters um, Inc. Laugh Floor at Magic Kingdom, and if you entered a joke and your joke got picked. My joke has never gotten picked. Maybe one day. And then this is the other item that I grabbed from Box Lunch. It is like a honey pot. It's super cute. I don't even know. I need to stop saying super cute. But just like take a tally how many times I've said that this video. I don't even really know what is going to be in here. But it was from Box Lunch. I'm pretty sure I got it on like major sale. And it looked cute. I love fun little mystery guys oh this is like really cute just like have as the honey pot all right let's see who we get okay hold on i'm gonna take them out of the bag i'm not looking okay now i'm gonna put them back in all right let's see who it is oh it's eeyore that is too cute oh i get it one moment one moment one moment. Oh, you cannot use this for food or beverage, people. Okay, ready? He sticks on top of the pot. <gasps> oh my goodness. Yeah, that is so awesome. <laughs> I didn't want to say so cute again. <gasps> I love that. There's a little Eeyore. I'm not like a huge fan of Winnie the Pooh. I do like Piglet. Uh, if you had to pick one, he would definitely be my favorite. So, we should not start getting into Winnie the Pooh. That's the last thing we need is another like favorite fandom to jump into. <laughs> Alright you guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you comment down below if you've ever been to Monsters, Inc. Laugh Floor. And let me know what your favorite small shop is. I love finding new small shops. I definitely have my favorites that I continue to go back to. But comment down below some of your favorites so everybody can check them out and give them some love. I also have a small shop. I've actually never talked about it on here. It's called Casey's Corner. I will leave a link for that down below if you want to check it out I am planning on having some new items coming this fall so that's exciting but I appreciate you more than you will ever know to be subscribed to the channel and just watching and engaging make sure you are following me over on Instagram so we can become BFFs over there yeah. again thank you for watching today's shop Disney small shop and box lunch haul I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you real soon. Bye!